Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So it must be a day that ends in Y because we have another situation where Asmongold is getting canceled by Twitter. Now, what did he do this time? Well, they're angry about this recent video he made titled, They're Destroying Our Games. Now, why are they angry about this video in particular? Well, for those who didn't watch the video, i.e. the angry Twitter users, it was about game companies shutting down old servers and basically not allowing people to play games that they paid for. This is a very agreeable video. Even Twitter users would agree with its message if they actually watched it. Now, of course, when it comes to Asmongold, you must keep something in mind when you're looking at the outrage surrounding him. There are millions of users across the world suffering from the same illness called ADS, or better known as Asmongold Derangement Syndrome. So whenever these people see Asmongold do anything, they project and basically throw forward their own assumptions about his content to confirm whatever bias they have. And they like to do this through tweets complaining about him because they like to get the echo chamber and the validation that comes from his haters coming together to support a post that is against him or his content. So here is the big tweet in question, a screenshot of this video made by an account called Terminally Online Leftist. And of course you can see 29,000 likes and the simple quote attached to it is, are they in the room with us right now? Referring to this quote right here, it's time to stop them. Now of course this entire thing is making a lot of assumptions about this video where it proves that they clearly did not watch this and people are now guessing what this they are but we know what the they are if you watch the video so this top set of replies really sums up everything you need to know this user saying saw this thumbnail and clicked to see if he was going fully mask off and it's actually a reaction to a video talking about how corporate elite slash capitalism is ruining the gaming industry through predatory monetization and prioritizing profits over quality. Where the original poster would reply saying, Oh, so the they is actually in the room with us. Hope he is clear enough with his audience about it so people don't wink it off like, We know what you really mean. Uh, Asmongold's fans are not doing this we know what you really mean bit. You're the one doing, we know what you really mean bit. You're the one filling in the blanks here and guessing as to what he is saying. And of course doing it to try to make him look bad or accuse him of doing something bad or fostering some kind of a toxic community. And this is something that he has been monetizing for a long time. Asmongold revels in getting canceled like many other people in the content creation space. You take people coming after you and you make content out of them. And that's something Asmongold has been doing over his career, but a lot in the last couple of months, especially when these claims and criticisms are absolutely outrageous, like today's criticism that we're going over. And he would react to this specific tweet we just mentioned with another video where he would absolutely body the people who are angry about this video. The patience uh, you have with these people? The reason why I have a lot of patience with these people is the same reason why I have patience with an animal whenever it does something wrong. I think that most of the commenters on the internet are subhuman animals. I don't think that it's worthy or important to take their opinion seriously at all. And they are functionally NPCs. They don't even know what they're thinking. How can I worry about what they're thinking whenever they don't even fully understand it? So like I said earlier, that video represents a common trend on his channel where he is using these pathetic cancellation attempts to farm content. And they're very well supported clips and longer sets of videos. And that's exactly what you should do when people are trying to cancel you as a content creator. Because, let me give my little spiel here on canceling content creators, the only way you actually effectively cancel someone on social media or someone as a content creator is when you convince their audience to leave, their actual audience in a large number to leave. And that doesn't happen with the usual Twitter cancellation attempts where two scenarios happen. Either one, these people with Asmongold, for example, will go to their fans and say, hey, did you know Asmongold said X, Y, or Z? And these fans already know about these opinions and likely support them. So it's a completely fruitless attempt 
at cancellation and the only people supporting the cancellation attempt are people who don't watch Asmongold and never had an interest in the first place. And then the second scenario is when they just make shit up, which is happening with this video and that also once again emboldens people like Asmongold and his community to look at the people trying to bring them down and they can farm content out of them while also basically increasing the level of support that they're going to receive and the community is going to rally behind them because they're going to look at this and say, geez, these people are crazy and they're going after Asmongold. I feel like supporting him even more now. And of course, with cancellation attempts, it also encourages people to go check out your content. And a lot of times, people who might have disliked Asmongold before they checked out his content actually go to see what he's all about and they end up liking him despite what Twitter was making up about him. Now, let's go to the actual tweet because some of the quotes on this are absolutely golden content. And as always, you should always farm crazy posts like this for content and for your own laughs and enjoyment. So here's a tweet that sums up basically everyone raging about this. So this user said, a friend told me once to him that Asmongold was a 10 year old in the body of a grown ass man. As long as you're convincing enough, He'll, he's willing to trust every word you say, and I won't say I believe it 100%, but he sure never proved the opposite in my eyes. Believing something without actually checking it out for yourself. Buddy, you're describing yourself. Your friend here is describing you. You saw this tweet, and you just believed it at face value. You are literally talking about yourself. That is embarrassing. And remember that whole they that the original poster was talking about, what is this they that he's possibly referring to or what his community thinks the they phrase means in the thumbnail? Well, people were guessing. So this user said, conservatives hate they slash them pronouns till it's time to use them to address a vague people group they made up to be upset at. Okay, again, didn't watch the video, but here, let's have some other people address a vague group and try to lump in some random group that has nothing to do with this video. This user saying Asmongold anti-Semitism era. Ah, that seems like weird projection because nobody said anything about Jewish people and all of a sudden you're bringing it up in this context which it clearly wasn't about. Here's another one saying whenever I see they, I'm gonna assume the person means Jewish people regardless of who they mean. Again, this seems like a lot of projection, but also the fact that they seem like they're so sure that Asmongold is an anti-Semite without a single bit of proof just goes to show the kind of derangement that these users have. And let's just look at this user and some of the replies that they made when people were questioning this outrageous claim. So they say this to another user, cuckold who pays for a blue check mark do not presume to be on a level that allows you to speak to me, you insect. Then the user replies here saying, you're not even smart enough to watch the video or even just read a couple reply tweets before putting your dumbass two cents in. With the original poster reply saying, no, I just don't think Asmongold, the racist, misogynistic pig, deserves the benefit of the doubt now. Go F yourself, you piece of human-shaped trash. You are literally replying to every quote retweet. LMFAO, I can't imagine a more pathetic existence. The racist isn't going to F you. It always comes back to like sexual stuff with these people. It's very strange. Where another user would reply saying, and you are looking at every quote retweet and reading his replies, so shut the F up. Where the original poster replies again saying, no, it just took me one second to notice that the loser I'm wasting my time with is replying to everyone who doesn't deep throat Asmund cuck balls deep. Are you stupid? Do you even know how this website works? Okay, uh, massive projection here. And also notice these people, you know, the normal guys here, constantly referring to anyone who disagrees with them as subhuman or some kind of an animal or insect. These are supposed to be the normal people and look at how they reply to the slightest of criticism coming their way. Here's another one saying, I love when they say our, but really just mean cishet, mostly white men. You know, the only group of people who ever plays video games and nobody else, especially not women. Well, nice fan fiction, by the way, but also 
anyone, this is just a, a, a lesson for you guys, anyone who uses the spelling YT to describe white people, that is a red flag, like a blistering red flag. This is like telling you to, to avoid this person because they're probably very weird when it comes to race and race relations. You can tell there's a lot of hostility towards white people and obviously treating people differently based on the color of their skin is not something anyone should do. But moving forward, this user gave their, their stab at uh, what he's talking about, saying, plot twist, he's actually talking about a secret non-binary supervillain plotting a devious plan. Okay, the fan fictions are getting a bit stronger. This user said, with 700 likes and the replies turned off, when will gamers realize it's capitalism ruining games and not wokeness? Again, didn't watch the video, but here's the thing. Without capitalism, you don't have the opportunity to complain about the quality of games. The only reason why we have a lot of these discussions is because capitalism breeds innovation to the point where we have issues like video game quality, where we can actually care about those things because capitalism allows those things to exist. We are lucky to have these conversations because without something like that, like capitalism, we wouldn't have the chance to argue and bicker about the quality of video games and things like that. Okay, that's just pretty obvious, but people always want to blame capitalism for absolutely everything. But moving on here, this user tries to dismiss the points being made by Asmongold by making the only real thing people can say about him these days, and that's saying, should be more focused on getting his room cleaned. Ah, so his opinion is invalidated because he has a dirty room. Well, looking at your profile, you're a journalist, so your opinion is definitely much more invalid than someone with a dirty room. Two can play at that game, dude. So moving forward, here's another one saying, Asmongold, when I beat his Xbox with a hammer. Well, that would be a crime. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Here's another one saying, me when I see him. And it's a, you know, basically Asmongold getting thrown off a roof. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly too scared about people doing anything like this in real life. I mean, after all... These are the kind of people who are literally having panic attacks when they're trying to talk to the, the cashier at the grocery store. Like, I don't think they're going to even go outside, let alone do anything and act upon these violent urges of them. But it's still worth laughing at. Here's another one saying the, own, uh, the one who made the clickbait thumbnails should be fired immediately. Uh, absolutely false. Actually, this thumbnail wasn't even clickbait. It was just a normal thumbnail describing pretty much exactly what was going on in a pretty vague sense, but it wasn't clickbait. It wasn't misleading anyone. The only people who made it clickbait in some sense are the original poster who was trying to frame this video's topic about something that it wasn't. They made it clickbait. They made it sensationalized and made more people want to go check out this video. Crazy. It wasn't the thumbnail. It wasn't any clickbait. They did exactly what they were supposed to when they made that, that thumbnail. They, they did a good job whoever the editor was. But moving forward, here's another one saying, his grifting is honestly more frustrating because he chooses to live in a squalor environment like I can't forgive but can understand rage baiters with a Bugatti like they're chasing a bag. This guy just does it because he sucks. Okay, I think you definitely have much more issues to look at where the only sense of success you will ever feel is represented by things like driving an expensive car. If that's the only way you can feel validated in your success, that's a bit of a you issue and you should probably focus a little less on Asmongold and how he's living his life and focus more on your own. But here's another comment saying, isn't this one of the guys who made content out of Amber Heard? You know, there's a lot of situations on social media generally where people ask these questions where either a they know the answer already or b they could solve this with a simple google search or going onto youtube do you want to find out if asmongold talked about amber heard you could find out in less time researching yourself than it would take to type out this tweet and also yes he did is there an issue with talking about amber heard very strange stuff Here's another one saying, who is Asmongold and why does this effing loser keep showing up on my timeline? Well, you can blame all the people around you because they won't stop talking about him. The most effective way to deal with someone you don't like on the internet, especially content creators, is to not talk about them. Unless you have some very valid, 
criticism or something really pressing that'll really damage them, you're better off not talking about them at all. People making uh, tweets just to complain about someone they don't like, a content creator, all it's going to do is garner more sympathy for them within their community, and it's also going to introduce their content to more people. Even if one out of the hundred people responding to rage tweets about Asmongold end up liking Asmongold's content, well, that's plus one, because maybe that person would have never checked it out in the first place. And this cycle just keeps happening over and over again with Asmongold, my own content, and a lot of people within the content creation sphere People just can't stop complaining about people they don't like, even if they know it's going to help them out in a long-term sense of time. But uh, of course, this original poster would then self-promo because literally every single person that ever complains about Asmongold and gets likes on Twitter will immediately use the opportunity to promote themselves. I don't really understand if this video right here was worth all the effort. Okay, I don't know how many views it has. I wouldn't imagine it's anything too crazy. It just seems very odd that you would want to be labeled as someone who makes things up about other content creators, who doesn't watch the content that they're complaining about, that misleads people. Also, you can make one video about the situation. It doesn't seem worth it in my eyes. It definitely wasn't worth the smoke and the potential damage to your reputation as a commenter. But of course, they would then try to play the victim in the replies saying this. I know the guy revels in the stuff, but his fans were the first ones to make HR threats at me, and I'm not blaming him for the shitty comments I got over there. Parasociality is weird, and I knew I was going to get real weird. It was going to get real weird when they started calling him by his first name. I, I don't really think that's a very odd thing, especially when his other channels are literally using his name Zach. So people calling him Zach really isn't that weird. It's not a, a hidden uh, feature. In his content, people know his, his first name. But uh, yeah, trying to play the victim after attacking someone else needlessly for no reason. It's not surprising. People always do this when they complain about people like Asmongold and it backfires. But yeah, it's satisfying to watch at least. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.